Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to create caustic effect using Arnold in Maya 2017. The final output is look like this. I hope you like it. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we have simple scene setup. So I have simple polycube. I will extrude in zigzag way and also I will use an bevel over here. So now we want to make our camera setup. So I will click spacebar in keyboard. So I will drag this viewport all the way to down. Here I need to set my camera view. Here I keep my perspective view go to rendering and click on create cam so that means it will automatically created in center of grid here you need to go to panels perspective and choose camera one i will adjust my camera like this so i will choose two option here go to camera settings and choose over scan and view camera settings and choose resolution gate so i will zoom in like this I select my polyplane, press R and scale big. So I don't want to show my polyplane edge over here in our camera. So I will extend little bit bigger. Okay, so now I want to apply some material for our ground. So I will select my ground plane, right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard. So I want to rename me uh, ground as G R O U N D underscore A I standard. So I want to reduce my color very dark. So almost 90% black. So like this. So like this. Now I want to apply some material for this one. So before that, um, caustics won't work in point light or spotlight or area light so in Arnold you must uh, need to apply some card and use and surface emission to create caustics so here is an example so go to polygons and click on polyplane and press R and scale big and press E and rotate like this and press W I will move in Y like this you won't show in your camera view so like this so I will emit from this direction so now I want to apply another uh, material for this object so before that I want to reduce my subdivision so I will select this one and go to channel box editor here I need to give subdivision with then height to 1 so I will apply some right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard so this one is the emitter so I will choose rename as emitter so underscore AI standard I didn't want any diffuse contribution so I will drag all the way up to 80% so and go down here you need to expand this emission so open your Arnold render view in default it will be render our perspective shape so I need to render my camera so I will choose over here so now you cannot able to see nothing because we did not have any light source in our scene so I will apply some AI standard I will reduce my diffuse color so if I increase my emission scale up to 10 you will able to see our scene will highly emitted by this object so this card will act as a light source so caustics is only appear uh, using this card and give some emission so now we need to apply some material for our object so I will select my object 
and right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard so for this object so and then I didn't want any diffuse contribution because this is a glass material so I will drag all the weight to down as black and also I will keep my diffuse weight to zero so and then I want specular weight at least uh, 0 0.3 percentage so I will reduce my roughness all the way to zero so now I want to go down so here is you need to find refraction so expand this one if you have any transparent material you definitely want to give index of refraction and also weight so I will give weight to 1 so now I want to give index of refraction for our glass material as 1.5 okay now you able to see our glass material over here okay now you able to see our glass material over here so now uh, I will select my object and uh, go to poly surface shape so here you need to uncheck this opaque option so it's really important if you have any glass material you uncheck this opaque option in Arnold section so for our poly shape so and then now I select my object right click and choose material attributes so here you need to give some transmittance color so I will click on this checker and I will apply some ramp so I will give some ramp color as multicolor channel over here so I will give red click on here so and also give blue so click over here and also view red so here I want to view green and also orange so like this you will view multi color over here okay so now we apply some ramp in our transmission so I will select this object go over material attributes so right click and choose material attributes here you will able to see when we click on this transmission and also we apply some ramp color so now see it will won't emit any caustics so I will keep this image for comparison so I will click on the snapshot button so that means it will keep our image so now I need to apply some caustic effect for this object when the object selected you need to expand this caustics tab here you need to check this enable refractive caustics so I will check this one okay so now I click on this image keep image button to compare our previous frame so I will click on this one so now you able to see our caustic pattern will be flow over here and also here so I will zoom in a little bit you able to see our caustic pattern so I will check my previous frame so here you won't see our caustic pattern will be flow over here and here so I will click on this one now you able to see clearly so the red color will be flow over in this ground and also this yellow color will be flow on this ground so now I need to reduce lot of noise from this render so I will close my Arnold render view so I will open my render settings so I want to take my uh, final output in full HD so I will go my image size and view full HD 1080 so and also my renderable camera as camera 1 I will go my Arnold renderer here you need to give so I will open my render view so Arnold render view so I will select my second frame over here so here I need to reduce lot of diffuse noise and glossy noise for this objects so that means I will give diffuse samples at least 6 and glossy samples to 6 and camera AA samples to 4 but it will cause huge huge render time so I will give 
this much of value if your uh, system configuration is low keep this glossy samples to 4 diffuse samples to 4 and camera AA samples to 4 so after render I will come back again but it will take huge render time so I will pause my video and come back again okay so now it's render completed so after we increase diffuse glossy and camera AA samples now our noise will be highly reduced now you able to see the caustic pattern flow over here so it looks very nice so I will preview my final file I hope you like it I see you on next project click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so please subscribe click here to also watch the tutorial of how to create bump map in photoshop and use in maya 2017 using arnold render engine